and welcome to another exciting episode of Moments Ghost Talk. We are coming to you live from our studio in Lagos. Now, life tells us that nothing is impossible. We also on this show tell you that if you can think it, you can do it. But are some things merely less likely than others? Today on the show, we talk about unrealistic expectations. That's our topic on Moments Ghost Talk. Hello, ladies. Hi, 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 beautiful. Hi, how are you? You guys look Good. so gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so we're talking about unrealistic expectations, mm. and the one thing that comes to my mind when I hear things like this <laughs> is, I, okay, don't worry. You I can, can guess, relationships. guess. Relationships, you yeah. know, how, you know, we, and I, again, I remember we had, uh, I've been saying this, this has been a recurrent thing for me this season, mm. talking about, you know, romance novels and, mm -hmm. you know, movies and series that sort of sell you an idea. Mm -hmm. And then you get some certain things from there and go on thinking that that's what life is all about. You know, when we're younger, we had this long list of what we thought mattered. I think it was mm. be tall, dark, handsome. Mm. As you are growing older, you're like, okay, let money. me move the tall. <laughs> If, let him shall be handsome and God fearing. <laughs> then oh, let me remove the handsome. Let him be God fearing and hardworking. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes are certain things unrealistic. Oh I my think. gosh, I always think about those jokes that you see the girl around where it's like by the time you're clocking like 37, and hey. you're just like, as long as he's alive, <laughs> like, anybody, <laughs> anybody will do. Are you really? Just I'll come. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, I think I think it can be harmful, you know, to have these unrealistic expectations, and I think it's something that we're fed from an early age, like you're saying, and we're not really conscious of the. Um, effect it's having on us. It's just as we get older and we, you know, we have a few experiences here and there, we start to realize, hmm, things mm. I thought were realistic and were maybe the standard, yeah. maybe aren't, and it's time for me to sort of this is, change my yeah. mindset. This is going to be a really interesting topic, you know, and I have a, a lot I want to share because I agree with you, but I'm also going through like a rebirth in a way, and I'll share mm. it with you guys when our guests come back, and they'll be with us right after this break. Welcome back to Moments Girls Talk. We're joined by our guest, Chris Okagwe, who is a Nigerian actor and model. He's a graduate of sociology from the University of Lagos, and he's also acted in series, including Ebony Life TV's Superstar Me, and also Dowry. Also, we're joined by Eki Ogunbo, who is a Nigerian lifestyle blogger, and she's also part of the Bella Niger team and owner of the blog called The Chameleon Blogger. Welcome to Hi Moments guys. Girls Talk. Thank you very so nice much. to see you guys. You both look so fresh and radiant. I mean, her hair, first of all, I can't get over your hair. Thank you. Can this we, is all sorry, yours, can right? we just show something? So how long have you been growing your hair natural, naturally? Seven years. So you haven't permed in seven years? Nope. I know we're not talking hair now, but I, I just know. had to give you that comment. Yeah, it's it's about, you Thank know, the you. blogging and, you know, working with Bella Niger. So mm -hmm. give us the tea. Who's all the gist of it? <laughs> 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 yeah. like, like those comments you guys don't release. <laughs> oh, what are they like? So, yeah. so do you guys not release all the comments? No. So you really? mean the worst ones? I mean, we try not to be messy, so we just see through the good and the bad. Yeah. So like, how many? Like, once wow. you put up a story, like thousands of people start commenting almost of immediately. Of course. And then wow. when you don't publish someone's comment, they now start leaving comments like, "You didn't publish." Yeah, yeah, I, I see, see that. that. I see, I see that. Some people post and they say, "Please post my comment." Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Really serious yes. about Do you feel comments. like you guys get to know a lot about people from just the comment section? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, but sorry, yeah. we're, Chris, we're coming to you, but we all want to know. So, <laughs> yeah, I want to know, know as well. Sometimes there are like comments where it's inside gist mm -hmm. that might be a rumor. You guys post those sometimes though. So how do you like decipher between when it's like, that's a bit too messy and that's not too messy? So most times, if it's real or if it's true, there'll be someone in-house who kind of knows it. Mm. So we can oh. kind of. Do you guys have your fire. ears to the grindstone. Mm. So there's a lot you we can have tell to. us. You yeah. have your ears. And then before we just move on, just find. <laughs> do you think there are people who like? like She's I, so interesting. Let me tell you why. Because <laughs> it's actually, it's I, mean, I, I do it's get written about. Yeah. And you know, a lot. Some years back, I was interested in going through comments, but now I just don't. Mm. I don't care because there's nothing fancy you find there, anyways. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I, I, I often wondered. Sometimes I feel like maybe they're just two people that make up a whole barrage yeah. of comments. Do you think it will keep? Changing IDs, and of course. Yeah. Like IP addresses mm. are usually the same sometimes. <gasps> yeah, really? and they just change their pictures. Or change their name. Wow. Can you change an email to comment? No, you can be a fake one. But the IP address is usually the, the same, same if it's the same person. You see, I'm right. Because I used yep. to tell someone as oh. trolls. It might be five people that just did yeah. all these 60 something yeah. comments. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. changing names. Everyone can be so bitter. 
No, ah, I don't know. Anything. <laughs> I love that. Total denial. I love that. And you know what's so funny? Most of you on Bella Niger team, you guys all come across as very sweet, very interesting. They're all like super sweet. And then we're like, hi. And you're like, mm. Mm. No, I think they are. Compared to other blogs, Bella Niger is the, is the yeah. good, yeah. good yeah. white yeah. angel. <laughs> Chris, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, Chris was also interested in that. <laughs> no, I am, yeah, because I mean, yeah. In, that, in this know. field. You want to know, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, Chris, you've been acting, you've been doing so much, and um, just tell us a little bit about the projects that you're working on right now. Um, right now, we uh, finished filming Kada River. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of it. We are promoting it. It's supposed to be out uh, sometime before the end of the year. Mm. Uh, really, really dope story. Uh, also, just concluded shooting a movie called To Drawing Strength. Okay. Um, stars Sophia Lakija and, um, and the rest. A beautiful storyline as well. So. My movie mentally premiered a while back. Mm. Um, it, it was a good turnout. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, well, yeah. you went from sociologist to model to actor. Uh, you were yeah. some, he's so a mighty you, fine brother. <laughs> more like from modeling to sociology to acting. Okay, yeah. okay. So, which one of those did you really represent model. you the most, actually? Uh, right now, acting. I do more of acting okay. than anything. I have to ask yeah. you this question because yes. we also sort of put Eki on this was. Yeah. Like, do fine boys know they're fine? <laughs> Like it's, not <laughs> no, like it's true. Like, it's do true. they know they're fine? I feel like everyone, not just boys, everyone. No, can do. no. no. Do, I think other people know, know they're not fine. Hey. Like, <laughs> no, I don't. You know, we always say unattractive. Oh, okay, That's okay, okay. Physically, <laughs> people that are owing in the looks department, yeah. sometimes they know. They say, like, I know I'm not the prettiest girl in the world. Like, yeah. you know, like, girl, you, you, you know. <laughs> I feel like you can't because when it. they ask me, I say, I say, I usually say, my line is, I am a relatively okay looking guy. I feel like most of them do know. But you know what? I'm going to say, you don't have fine boy energy because fine boys who know they're fine they have behave a certain way exactly mm. maybe i do know maybe i don't but I, I put conscious effort into not making it so obvious that he knows that he's fine i'm not defining yeah. that's true oh, also <laughs> you put it, it's not your identity that's yes, what it is not. oh that's okay. that's nice yeah. 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 well it's now time for a short break after which we'll be talking about our topic of the day which is unrealistic expectations we'll be right back back to Moments in Nigeria today on the show. We're talking about unrealistic expectations in all aspects of our lives. And of course, our guests with us, Chris and Eki. Now, um, I'm trying to think which direction to go. We usually go the relationship direction of like mm -hmm. unrealistic expectations. That's what comes to mind. Which is what, yeah. which is what comes yeah. to mind, right? Well, we can even just delve into what Eki does for a living. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm very fascinated at how you, you sometimes, because of how you were raised, mm -hmm. you somehow, and this year has been a year of growth for me, mm. personally. Like, I don't, I never believe in these things called haters, because I, I feel it's never that deep. Mm -hmm. And because I'm not at home really thinking about somebody at 11 mm -hmm. p.m. when my life problems are staring in front of me, <laughs> like, I'm thinking to myself, I, it cannot be that exactly, deep. Yeah. But then, you know, sometimes we need to also limit our expectations of people because you were raised right mm -hmm. and because there's some certain things you wouldn't do or say mm -hmm. you need to realize there are people in this world who were raised in a zoo mm -hmm. and you have no limits whatsoever so that even in working environments for instance just because you're not going to do certain things to get that promotion you know mm -hmm. so just on reality you know yeah. Yeah. yeah what are yeah. those things that you know you found that that when you were maybe much younger you were quite positive about but now you realize that ah it's quite unrealistic to expect people to do certain things. Mm, I would say um, people liking you. True. Mm. You know, like, oh, when you're young, everybody thinks you're so cute. Ah, she, her hair is this. But, like, when you start to grow older, even in primary school, you have those girls that mm. will give a certain group of friends something and then ah, you're, you're left on the sideline, you know? You start to kind of come into realizing that not everybody's going to like you, mm. but it doesn't mean there's a problem with you. It's mm. just about, you know, being confident in yourself. Mm. So, yeah. What about you, Chris? Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, just like she said, um, growing up, you get that. But if I'm going to drift from that a little mm. bit, generally in life, personally, I feel for me, like, most people go about having a, a preconceived notion of what their life is supposed to be like. Mm. You know, it's very hard for me to move away from relationships when it comes to this topic because I have a lot of friends who, especially females, no offense guys, mm. who have this tailor-made expectation about relationships mm -hmm. and men and you know their future partner and all of that. Mm. And I, I don't have any problems with you being uh, what I call an, uh, an optimistic realist. Mm. Right, okay. but you should, to, you should also have to um, keep an open mind to the possibility that as much as you expect, most people are all about what, what, what you can give, what you can give, what I want, mm. what I want, what I want. Mm. They I mean, don't also realize about what, what do they want from me, yeah. what do I have to give as well. Yeah, but let's so. talking about relationships, yeah. and I feel like we have
have to be very careful because there's having unrealistic um, expectations and there's also this issue of standards where it's not really you being unrealistic. Yeah. Yeah. The truth of the matter is it's just a standard. It could be as a result of battling to become who you are yeah. and you now realize to yourself that yeah. I have certain standards and then yeah. you know society will not expect you to just lower your standards because they believe that the man you're looking for is in mass mm. you know I know there are unrealistic expectations yes. i.e. what I would term that might be maybe if you're looking for a guy a guy who is maybe getting the complete package yeah. you know what I mean Tall, in a way handsome, yeah. dark rich loves you Loves doesn't God, cheat, doesn't cheat, doesn't loves lie. your sister, yeah. kind, that person exists gracious. now. What are you, what are you saying? No, no but my thing is not everything. No, you know what I think of <laughs> <laughs> My thing is this, not everything is for everybody, yeah. right? So if mm. you have an expectation, someone is in a meeting, maybe that person, maybe your expectation, expectation is not unrealistic. It's just that's not the person for you. And you can move on and find someone who can Then you're going to lower your standards. Then yeah. we're saying the same you, thing. You know, no, it's, it's a very, lower. I'm it's just a very okay, guy Okay, Let's give an example. Recently, I remember um, there was a poll that Bimi did on her Twitter, and it was, if you meet a guy who's tall, dark, handsome, loves you, but has H factor, mm. are you willing to go with the guy? Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 no, I don't think, I studied English literature in university, let me so tell you so something. Make, it'll, I'll, it'll, I'll, it'll, I'll, I'll, let me give you the best of me. Let me yeah, give you the best of me. Yeah, I'll be correcting him all the time. And something that really opened my eyes, and I said, Bonali, open your eyes. I was hanging out with an aunt, um, and she has an amazing husband, okay, really, really great. They're doing yeah. really, really well. Yeah. He's an amazing father, loves God. I mean, we're sitting down at the dining table, and you know, he said something. She, she said something about um, uniforms, mm -hmm. and he asked what something about what's coed. And it was so funny because this is a man who. What does he mean by what? He asked what's coed, and this is a man. He didn't who know what he meant. He didn't know what he meant. Okay. This is a man who is balling, thinking rich, yeah. loves her, everything. And I just remember thinking to myself. Wow, here's my uncle who doesn't know what's co ed. Well, my aunt is just like, <laughs> well, I'm smiling to you. Understand? Like, yeah, it wasn't yeah. a big deal. But someone yeah. else, I was like, so that means that he's not, he basically, he's not that exposed as a person. Mm. But so she is extremely sell. exposed. Yes, yes, and yes, I found yes. that she was like, she was willing to take that. So I said, well, what are some things that you're not willing to take that you're like, oh, he has hate factor? Yeah. Mm. Do you know what Whereas, I'm saying? Like, there might... are certain unrealistic expectations yeah. that you have to ask yourself. I really, I personally think. When you meet someone, something has to give. Mm. Yeah. Do you think so? Mm. I think so. I mean, you, you did a guy with H factor. Yeah. Really quick, just to explain to our viewers who are not Nigerian, H factor mm. is basically <laughs> it's not only a Nigerian thing, but like H yeah. factor is just when you know you say op. You like can't pronounce. You the can't pronounce H. H. Yes. And then there's the R yeah. factor as well. Let's know. Yeah. Yeah. You can't well. pronounce the H. Then you put H where it's not, where supposed, it's not supposed to be. be. Yes. Oh yeah. no, that's yeah. like those fake yeah. accent people. Like like the American. No, no, no. Hecky. 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 Some people say I don't have the H. I don't have the H. I don't have the H. My head is hecking me. Yes. <laughs> I'm dating so someone that had it it before, guys. I have. And I was so in love with him. I didn't realize till oh, so we yeah, broke up. Yeah. And when we broke up, like, I saw him six months afterwards and he said, I. I and mean, you said, what? No. You always said, I. I didn't know. I've never heard said, it. Yes. 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 I didn't know. I was in love. So, you're saying you can. Yes, I can, but I feel like there needs to be other things that make up for that age factor. Exactly. The same way you said, balanced. like, your aunt. He's an he, amazing husband. Yes. Yeah. He's an amazing, uh, sorry, excuse me, amazing husband. Did you say amazing? <laughs> <laughs> so what you it passed. wasn't her fault. We're talking about it just. She doesn't oh have hate God. factor. No, I, I don't, so please. Anyways, but, you know, he's an amazing. Gosh. Oh, no. She's like, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's an amazing husband, yes. but he's not really exposed. So that makes up for the fact that he didn't know what co was. Yeah. You know? yeah. What about yeah, you, Chris? I like to don't know about guys. Yeah. You know, when, when you talked about relationships, what are those unrealistic? I can tell you some that guys have. Please I can tell you off the back of the head. Have. You see, men, Wait. let me tell you, <laughs> men, no, can, don't even get me started okay. on you men. Men do this 80-20 rule so much. What is where you always, I'll, I'll explain it to you, okay. where you always think, you see, you've got 80, but your 80 doesn't look like 80 in front of you because the 20 that is outside looks like 80. And instead of you to manage the, what you have in front of you, you mm. keep chasing around that mm. 20, thinking that is 80. Yeah. And until you lose the 80, yeah. Yeah. and go after that, you now realize that the person that you just let go of was so much more 10% of this, 20% of yeah. that, and then the person you are following doesn't have the other 80%. Yeah. Yeah. Men do not have that. You, you guys are big, and not all men. She's so passionate about I have to be passionate, <laughs> I'm sorry. 
not all men, but I find out that a lot of men do not have that coping mechanism, you know, even in, they can cope with work. Mm -hmm. When it comes to relationship, you guys will, if it's not working, just yank yeah, it off. Yeah. That's, what are those ex expectations, unrealistic mm -hmm. expectations that you guys have? Well, for me personally, I think but you I can answer that after the break. Okay. Yes. Oops. All right. Okay. Cool. So we are going to go on a quick break. When we come back, I cannot wait for Chris to let us know those unrealistic expectations that some guys often have. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Moments Ghost Talk. Before we went on a break, Chris uh, was asked a very, very interesting <laughs> question. And being the one guy among three, <laughs> amongst three women, uh, so what are those unrealistic expectations that men usually have? For me, I think it's relative from one individual to the other. But generally, I feel like most guys have this notion that it's okay for a guy to cheat um, and a woman to understand oh. that I'll always be a guy. And mm. I always do that, but mm. not everyone is like that. For me, in relationships, it's not 50-50, it's 100-100. You go all the mm. way, I go all the way. So what applies to me applies to you as we well. To, like, I'm just saying, it's, it's just copy me. copy you and, you know, put me, your mentality yeah. in more guys. It's just me. You say that? I'll just keep that information to myself. Oh, oh okay. No. Oh, okay. All right. Wow. All right. All right. <laughs> Moving on from that, I do want to ask, you know, in terms of, do you feel like, in Nigeria and in other parts of the world, that we have this unrealistic expectation when it comes to maybe by the age of 25, you must have done this. By the age of 30, you must have done this. Because you know, I have a friend who, I remember when she was 29, um, going on 30, and she wasn't in a relationship, but she was like, she had a dream job and she had everything else in her life sorted. And she was like, I must marry by the time I'm 30. So she found someone somehow and she you know, met her deadline, but only to get divorced a year later mm -hmm. because obviously it wasn't something genuine. She was just trying to meet up with this uh, deadline that she'd imposed on herself. So do you feel, you know, even like in terms of career and things mm. like that, that we do put pressure on ourselves due to unrealistic expectations? What do you think, Eki? Hmm. Okay, so I think we definitely, you know, put pressure on ourselves when we see other people and where they are mm. or hear other people's stories and mm. start to compare ourselves to them and then um, things that we have maybe read and you know just other people's stories and just you know start having that comparison and I think it comes when you're not secure in yourself and your journey and your story and how long mm. it's going to take you to do certain things yeah. so yeah we definitely put pressure on ourselves in that aspect even when it comes to like finding a job or starting your own business or writing a book mm. anything yeah. do you think that and this is going to be a very tricky question do you think that even our, our parents sometimes unknowingly put those pressure out? i'll give you an example you know parents are very quick to compare that's mm. her mama something's daughter yes. just got that job but mm. that's her sister something's in my church her daughter i was married before the age of 30 mm. and before we know we begin to pick up those little demons and evil yeah. as fast as i can term it mm. and we begin to do that in our own personal lives as well mm. and this has led to the rise of things like yahoo yahoo mm. for yeah, instance yeah. because right. the it's pressure for the young man so to feel yeah. like at a certain age mm. i should be doing like something I have a car, mm. like this, I in have the a home car. sometimes they're asking them you know the mm. mothers are asking your mates are doing this that your mates oh are gosh, doing have, yes. it's crazy mm. and you know it's interesting because for me like i grew up in a house where like my parents don't talk about anyone's gist mm -hmm. so like they don't talk about like what's happening in their other people's lives or their friends lives but i had a friend who, and when he told me this, I was like, I feel really bad for you. His mom, you know, she just slightly say, oh, um, so, 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 so's mom, does son just bought her a house. Uh. And he's, he's only like 27. Mm. Do you understand? And I'm like, where do you expect a 27 year old who is not, you know, working in some oil and gas company mm. to buy you a house? Mm. And she's, he's like, he says it to her all the time. Wow. Anybody who is not strong, what would you do? Most likely you're going to result in going to do your house. Just so you get that yeah. Which is the reason why happen, like yeah. now, where I realize a lot of people have gone, just to explain what Yahoo is, it's internet scamming for mm -hmm. anyone who doesn't understand fraud. fraud. Why a lot of our young people really think that Yahoo is okay. Mm -hmm. And I knew that when the whole thing happened with Files, where he said, you know, people should stop hailing Yahoo boys. Mm -hmm. And the they general consensus was yeah, they, they came did. for yes. him. Mm -hmm. yes. And I was mm -hmm. like, this industry, for instance, you know, people look at the industry from the outside and yes. see actors and musicians, <coughs> mm -hmm. and you think, oh, that's why every young boy wants to wants sing. To yeah. Every young because they, 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 they look at this and they yeah. look at this because they just see the now yes. mm. and they don't see the then the way before. Yeah, before, yeah. do you think that if people began to share that struggle? Maybe if society saw the time where he drove a bit too. Mm. The time when the people died and they were trying to push it, <laughs> maybe then you would encourage people to even yeah. be appreciative of that person's journey yeah. and not look at the Range Rover when it arrives. Yeah. Yeah. I strongly believe that. There's another thing I want to add to that. Sometimes when people are really honest about their journeys, like, oh, maybe I didn't go to college or I didn't study this and that, 
people start to think, okay, so it's, uh, it's realistic for me not to go to school, but I can be where that person is. True. It's over. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but before we let you go, <laughs> secrets, things that no one knows about you, celebrity secrets. Wow. I think I've spilled everything already. Um, Do you have yes. a girlfriend? That is Why are you so interested no, in this the the yeah. When he asked this question, I'm starting says, to think that uh, <laughs> you like me. <laughs> no, when he says he's not going to divulge that information, yeah. you and I know that he does have a babe. Like, uh. Why don't you maybe want one, maybe it could be anything. Well, then you just talk about guys. I'm just Chris. saying you, you're yeah. giving yeah. it an so answer, sweet. but I'm just saying it could be anything. <laughs> hey. It could be anything. But anyway, secret. secret I like that you said it could be anything. You don't want to know what I I'm a realistic person. So secrets. Ah. Uh, this is my grocery wrap, but I dip my bread in my tea. Oh, <laughs> that's not so bad. Oh, no. <laughs> every time. <laughs> bite me. I hated that. Oh, they used to make me do that every time. Do you drink mm. the leftover at the bottom? Yes. Oh, oh, so you have to the like, crumbly bits at the bottom. Oh, no. yeah. So I don't drink tea. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you for bringing that back. Interesting. Eki, how about you? What's your celebrity secret? Okay. Uh, it's not really a secret, but I'll say what people don't know about me. Okay. I have a Yoruba name. And is it? Yeah, it's actually Tolu Lope. That's oh. my name. Oh. That's my Tolu. second Tolu. name. Tolu Walope. Tolu Walope is mine. Yeah. Oh my oh, god, that's my Tolu. second name. Oh my yeah. god, who is Tolu as well. Who else is Tolu here? Tolu Lope. She is. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> You're missing not. out. <laughs> We're not. We'll make it honorary Tolu. Do you have a Ibo mm -hmm. name? Are you yes, I do. Oh, okay, what is it? Okay, Chukun. Oh and someone named me, well, I think it's because I'm a twin and I'm the younger one, right? Yes, younger one. Is your twin in the industry as well? No. Does he look like you? Yes, but we're not identical. Okay. We just look alike. So nice. some people call me Kendi. Oh, Kendi is a nice name. Nice. Kendi is a beautiful name. Hi, Kendi. I'm like, how you doing? Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. That was good. It Thank was you guys. really nice. refreshing. Yeah. Thank you guys for sharing all of that with us. Yes. Thanks for having me. Yes. Coming up on the show, it's In A Nutshell. Welcome back to Moments Girls Talk. So today we've been talking about unrealistic expectations. And you guys, in a nutshell, I feel, you know, it's important to temper. Because that's, you know, when you have unrealistic expectations, that's when you get disappointed, you get sad, you can get depressed, dejected. So I think it's just important to really look within yourself, think about what's important to you, and just tailor your life and tailor your journey mm. to your own values, mm. essentially. Yeah. I mean, in a nutshell for me, I, I'm very realistic in terms of understanding that not everybody would... Everyone can come here and talk about knowing who you are, but not everyone knows who they are. Mm, yeah. Some people are still on that journey as True. well. And, you know, on that journey, you would make some mistakes. As long as you fall backwards, you can always get back up. And once you start to see yourself being obsessed about certain things that you have to ask yourself three basic questions that I always ask myself. Would this, is this a do or is this a life or death matter? If I don't have this thing, how bad would my mm. life really be? Mm. Do you understand? Would it be really, really bad? Now, number two, Am I going to have to, you know, become who I'm not or to have to, this, to yeah. have this yeah. thing? Yeah. And three, you know, I think the co my conscience has been the biggest and the weirdest thing God has given me because I won't be able to sleep at night. You know, the most important mm -hmm. thing is, is your do can you sleep at night knowing full well that you can close your eyes and you're fine mm -hmm. and your conscience mm -hmm. is clear? Mm -hmm. If you can answer those questions, it might help you to stay on track. So Definitely. for those who are still struggling with finding themselves, I hope that's helped you. Yeah, I completely agree with both of you. I think it's definitely a journey and it's a process. And But I always tell myself that I think once we're true to ourselves and what we want, mm. be honest about what you want. Even if it sounds bad or it sounds materialistic or it sounds mm. whatever, mm. just be honest about that's, that's it and your... then you can work from there. Definitely. True. Yeah, True. Definitely. Okay. All, right. All right. This has been a very interesting episode yeah. and it was yeah. very deep. Um, topic as well because we all sort of learned from even our mm -hmm. guests as they learned I did, from I us. really learned from them. And on that note, we hope you at home also learned something new. Join us again on another episode of Moments Ghost Talk. Until then, remember, if, if you, you can, can think, think it, it, you, you can, can do it. it.